What is up guys? It's time for another Marvel Champions weekly one shot challenge. And this week's challenge is called Breaking and Taking Ultimate Edition. We must defeat the Rhino villain here while including the following module sets of the Infinity Gauntlet, Flight, Super Strength, and Telepathy from Mr. Sinister. And this would be a super duper challenging matchup because uh, these Mr. Sinister module sets right here, uh, they are all super nasty because they all come with a permanent attachment that we must attach to the villain for the remainder of the game. So Flight here is the worst one where Rhino gets a permanent plus one attack and permanent overkill on his attacks. So he defeats an ally, the damage will bleed over to Spider-Man. We also have Super Strength here where he has a plus one attack and Steady. And then we also have Telepathy with plus one Scheme and also the Psionic uh, Trait and Retaliate 1 now. So Rhino is super duper buffed up here. And then we're going to shuffle the rest of these uh, modular set cards into the encounter deck. And also huge shout outs here to um, Villain Theory and Nelson all over. Because we actually did a three-player game uh, against Thanos with the exact same modular sets on Nelson's channel. And it was super duper tough with that overkill. So we're going to see how Rhino does here um, with all these buffs. And uh, we're going to face Rhino here on expert mode with Peter Parker Spider-Man using the Weaving Threads deck here. Because uh, I think that we need to uh, go all out. And we're going to take on Rhino here who is also going all out on us. So let's shuffle up the encounter deck. And we're going to shuffle up the Infinity Stones here because Rhino somehow got his uh, hands on the Infinity Gauntlet here with the stone. So he is very powerful. We're going to shuffle this up. All right. And then we create the Infinity Stone deck, which should be right here. And then Rhino has a one reviewed effect. We search the encounter deck and discard power for the break and take it inside. and reveal it. One of you plays an additional one uh, threat on here plus a two. So it's going to have a total of three threat with a hazard icon. So we get an extra encounter card while the side scheme is in play. And then uh, the main scheme starts up with zero threat. If it hits seven, then we lose the game. So we got to prevent that. And then let's uh, shuffle up our player deck here. And then we're going to draw up to our hand size of six in our Arch Ego. And we're looking for either a Moon Girl or one of our three suit ups or Nick Fury. So one of those five cards will really help get us going. Let's do the five, six. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got the Moon Girl. Okay, and we got a suit up. Oh, yikes. Okay, but we got some really good cards here. So the anime, we can't use the research. We have to play it. We have to save backflips against Rhino because he is going to be brutal. So I think, ah, oh, man, I, I think I'm just going to hold on to his hand here. I would like to try to get some doubles, but it's going to be too risky to uh, throw anything away. I, I really want to get like an upgrade or something like that as well. But let me see. I mean, if we get an upgrade, then we can play it, right? So I think we ditch the suit up. Yeah, let's uh, mulligan one card here, the suit up, and draw one more card back up to our hands as a six. Ooh, okay, that's huge. All right, um, so let's get started here. We're going to use Scientist Generate Mental Resource. The power and all of us can be a double when paying for a basic card. So we're going to have the wallet to declare them both to be mental resources. There's going to be a total of three mental resources here with uh, this and the scientist to play Moon Girl. Moon Girl says play only if your Denny has a champion or a genius trait. We do have the genius trait here in our, in our Arch Eagle. As a response, after you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw one card for each mental resource use of paper. We use three, we're going to get three cards here. Hoping for an upgrade or something. Okay, we've got the Quinn carrier, which is really good to see. And we also got a suit up. Do I do I suit up here? Uh, for sure, we must play the Quinn carrier, I think. So let's see. We do this. We play the Quinn carrier. And then we won't be able to suit up if we do that. Um, okay, wait, wait. If I suit up, and let's say I get a Web Warrior. And... Actually, wait, okay. if I get suit up and I get Nick Fury, then I can use one, two, no, we're not going to do that. If I use suit up and I get a web warrior, I get the war of the great web, then I can play the Quinn carrier. Uh, play the warrior of the great web. And then I can also have a resource for Aunt May. Yeah, I think that's what we do here. Okay, so we're going to use a double resource here. Whoops. So I can play another suit up. Search your deck and discard pile for an ally and upgrade that can be attached to ally and then add them to your hand. So we're going to look through our deck here. Let's get uh, let's get War of the Great Web as an upgrade. And we're going to get, uh, I think we get Hobie Brown here. Yeah, we're going to get Spider-Man, Hobie Brown, and the War of the Great Web and shuffle up our deck. So our ally is Spider-Man, Hobie Brown, and the upgrade is War of the Great Web, which says attach a character with Spider-Man's title. That includes Hobie because he has Spider-Man's Tower, so we can equip that to him, which means that we can grab both these cards with the effect of the suit up here. 
while we're in Alter Ego to play an Alter Ego action. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and use, uh, let's see what we're doing. We're going to flip over to, oh no, man, I messed up. So I play this, I play this, Aunt May stays in the hand. Unless I burn the backflip. There's no way I'm burning the backflip here, I think. That's fine. I think we still do this. Okay, let's flip over here to hero form. We're going to use, do I save? No, I want to get the warrior grid web down. Let's use three resources here so I can play the Quinn carry here, which is a three cost support. And then it says play only if your enemy has the Avenger trait. We do have the Avenger trait here in our hero form. We're going to exhaust the Quinn carry to generate a water resource so I can play, uh, oh man, I want to get AMA down. But we, let's, let's play AMA. I think that's more of a, I mean, it's fine in our hand, right? You know what? Let's play AMA. She's more valuable. We're going to play AMA here as a one cost support. As an alter ego action, you can exhaust AMA to hue four damage from Peter Parker. Uh, she's not going to do anything right now, though, because that's only an alter ego, and we're in hero form. Peter Parker is going to Thor for one from the break and take inside this game. Drop it from three down to two. And we're going to have Moon Girl Thor for two and clear it off. So this side game is now defeated. And a Moon Girl will take two consequential damage from uh, Thorning. All right, that's an end our turn. Let's ready back up. Let's hold on to the War of the Great Web here and keep the backflip and draw back up to our hands up to five. We uh, definitely need that backflip. Oh, that's our third and final suit up there, which I don't necessarily want to see right now, but it's okay. Rhino's turn is going to add one to the main. He's going to attack us. We're going to trigger our Spire Sense as an interrupt. When the villain initiates an attack against you, we can draw a card. So let's get a card draw here. Uh, Rhino gets dealt his boost card here. Let's take it to the face because we have a uh, backflip. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and overkill. So no point in having Moon Girl block. Plus two is going to be eight damage. We're going to play a backflip here. Zero cost event as interrupt when you would take any amount of damage from an attack, even that eight damage, we can prevent all of that. So Spire Man is going to backflip out of the way and jump out of that damage. Then with the Infinity Gauntlet, after Attach Villain activates, we flip the top card of the Infinity Stone deck, which is going to be the Mind Stone here. All right, then we get dealt a Fades Out Encounter card, which is out of reach, attached to the villain. The villain cannot take damage unless the attack or attacker has the arrow trait, or if the attack has ranged. As here, actually, we can exhaust your hero and spend two. Uh, energy resource to this card's card. All right, we're just gonna ignore that because uh, right now we're trying to get set up. We don't we don't really care about what he does with us um, for that. Okay, I want to play X here. He will block an attack for us. I want to play the web shooters here as well because if I play the web shooters uh, using this, I don't have enough resources to play X in the word web, which I want to get out to. Um, yeah, then we get X out to get a Confuse off, but then I lose the suit up. So I won't be able to get him for another cycle, which kind of hurts, but I think it's fine. He can block some damage. Let's exhaust a Quinn Care here to generate a water resource. This will be two more for total three, so I can play Professor X. When he enters play, choose one, we pick the one to Confuse the villain. So let's Confuse Rhino. But Rhino does have Steady, so he's not fully Confused here, unless we get another stats on him and we don't have the suit up anymore. Let's use Nick Fury as a resource so I can play Warrior Great Web. Attach a character with Spire Inside, let's get the Spire Man. Uh, we now gain the Web Warrior trait here. And when a Web Warrior out of this play, we get plus one attack until the end of phase. We're just going to throw for one from the main. Um, the reason why Rhino has Retaliate, I don't want to be taking damage right now because I'm already going to take a lot of damage with um, with the overkill stuff. So that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. Draw back up to our hands as a five. We really didn't do much, but we got. Uh, oh, okay. I have some doubles with the webbed up. Oh, I got the backflip. Uh, I may just backflip this. And then play webbed up, and that would just stall us for a little bit longer. Okay, uh, it's round turn. He's gonna add one to the main. He's gonna attack us. We're gonna trigger a spire sense and draw a card. Um, I think we just have X block it still. We can see the damage. It was a lot, and then we can still backflip it. So Professor X will defend against his attack. He has no damage on him. Round turn with the base of six plus a boost card of three. Oof, that's the highest boost. Um, I think so. He's gonna do a total of nine damage. X would take three, six would bleed over to Peter Parker's Spider-Man, so we would drop down to four life. Have a backflip here. Play a webbed up. I think I just take it. Um, pretty scary, but let me see. If I play the webbed up, what else can I do? Play the web shooters? Stall? Oh, man, I don't like that. If we play the backflip right now, kind of waste X's block. I think I need to... Hmm. Yeah, this is rough. 
uh, I think we're just going to take the damage here. So, because X is blocking for three. So, Ron does one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine damage. X will soak three. He overkills six to Peter Parker's Spider-Man. So, we drop from 10 down to four. So, we are near death right there. And then X will get knocked out. And then he's going to trade the Mind Stone. After he activates, you are confused. So, we get confused here. All right. And then we can dealt a face down and counter card during counter phase, which is. Uh, enhance Ivory Horn, attach to Rhino. He gets another attachment here with another plus one attack. So we gotta spend three physical resources to his first card. And gotta remember with the outer reach here, uh, he cannot take damage from an attack unless we have the arrow trait. Uh, or the attack has arrow trait, which means swing weapon could actually do damage. Um, yeah, we, we gotta remember he has all that stuff. All right, that's gonna end Rhino's turn. It's back to our turn here. All right. Then we play the webbed up, get down the web shooters, and just hold. All right, we're going to Thor. To remove our confuse, exhaust a quick to generate resource to play our web shooters here. So come with three web counters. One, two, three. Then we're gonna use four resources right here so I can play our webbed up. Here form only attached to an enemy. Let's give it to Rhino now. He has even more upgrades and attachments. Uh, whenever attached villain would attack, this card was in set, and then we stun him. So even though he has steady. Uh, this will block out one attack, and then he'll get stunned after that. And we have a backflip here to stay in hero form for a little bit longer. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to five, holding on to a backflip and a ghost spider. And, okay, Web of Life and Destiny is good here. And Maria Hill. All right, Rhino's turn. He's going to add one to the main. He's going to attack us. We don't trigger spice sense because never initiate an attack. We discard Web instead, cancel the activation. We just go to our discard pile. And then Rhino gets one stun status, but because of steady, it's not fully stunned. The stone won't trigger. And counter card is Manufactured Drama. Uh, when reviewed, exhaust each support you control. So we lose this. These are upgrades, so they don't get exhausted. Uh, when reviewed, exhaust. If no supports were exhausted, this card will surge. Supports were exhausted. As an offer you action, exhaust your identity and discard one card from the top of your deck for each support you control to discard this card. Okay, that's unfortunate because supports you control cannot ready. So we can never ready up Ant-May or Queen Carrot with this card's in play. All right, that's going to end Rhino's turn. Oh man, that is brutal. Uh, we might as well burn this backflip here. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and play the Web of Life Destiny. Ignore this card's resource cost if your identity has a Web War trait. We do have the Web, web War trait with the effect of the War of the Great Web. So we can play this card for free here. When a Web War allies play, we can draw a card with the effect of the Web of Life and Destiny. And then I could play Ghost Spider. Exhaust this. And we just flip down. I could use a basic recovery here. I think that might be the play. And then we hold on to backflip. Let me see if I play, what's our deck size? We have a lot of cards left in our deck, so I think we're okay. I really wanna get down Ghost Spider. Let's exhaust the web shooters, remove a web counter, generate a water resource. This will be two more for a total of three, so I can play Ghost Spider. She says, play only if you have a Web Warrior card. We have the Web Life Destiny and Peter Parker's Web Warrior card, thanks to the effect of the Warrior Great Web. Uh, Ghost Spire is going to Thor for one from here. She'll take a consequence of damage. We're going to Thor for one. Let's just clear it off from here. And then we're going to flip down to Ultra Eagle and use this Ultra Eagle action here. Oh, just kidding. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to Thor for one from there. Uh, and just kidding. We're not going to have Ghost Spire. Sorry, guys. I got to take that back real quick. Ghost Spire and Peter Parker are not going to Thor. Because I realize I have to exhaust myself. So there's two throw on here. We're going to just have Moon Girl throw that out. Okay. Um, so what are we doing again? Okay. So we're just going to flip down to Ultra Eagle. Use this Ultra Eagle action. Exhaust your identity. Discard one card from top of your deck for each support you control. We have the Web of Life Destiny here. And then Quinn Carrot and Aunt May. So three cards. One, two, three. And then we discard it. And then that will discard the Manufactured Drama. All right. And then Moon Girl is going to Thwart for two. Clear off the main scheme. She will take two consular damage, get knocked out. And unfortunately, we have no more suit ups, so we won't be getting her back this turn. Uh, Ghostfire could swing in on Rhino. She would take a retaliate. No, wait, she can't take damage. All right, let's get her turn. Let's spread back up because uh, we need aerial cards to do damage to him. Let's draw back up to six here, hold on to the backflip because we need it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like the endurance. All right, Rhino's turn. He's going to add one to the main. He's going to scheme. He's not confused because he has steady. So one, two, three base plus a boost card here of one. One, two, three, four. So the main scheme goes up to five. He flips a stone after he activates. 
and we get a phase on counter card, which is going to be an assault. It's going to surge because we're an Arch Eagle into a Stampede. I will surge because we're an Arch Eagle into a Caught of Guard. Whew, okay. This card and upgrade or support your control. Let's get rid of the Warrior of the Great Web here. All right. And then that's going to resolve the Caught of Guard. And we have survived. Okay. So it's back to our turn now. All right. Maybe we can try to try to come back here a little bit. Let's exhaust AMA to heal us by four in our ego. So we go from four up to eight. And then do we have thwarting right now? No, we do not. We don't have any allies uh, except Ghost Spider. And then, oof, that's going to be rough. Okay, so let's use Scientist to generate a mental resource. This would be a, a second resource here. Actually, let's use this as a second resource so I can play Ingenuity. This is a two cost upgrade. Play only if you has a genius trait. We do have a genius trait here in our Arch Eagle. We can exhaust engineering to generate a mental resource. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we can play Endurance. You get plus three hit points. So we go from eight up to 11, and our max hit points are now 13. And I want to exhaust recover, but I need to thwart with Ghost Spider. Uh, and then let's go ahead and have, let's see, what's our deck looking like? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards left in the deck. We play the Quinn Carrier, attaches to Ghost Spider, use the Clarity Purpose uh, to play Raptors, and the Web Shooters to play Raptor Response? No, I think I just burn it. That's fine. Um, okay, let's use the Quinn Carriers as a resource. This would be a second resource here, so I can play Raptor Response. It's a two cost upgrade. As a hero response, after an ally controls defeat, we can discard this card and then put the ally back in play from Discard and deal damage to it. So we can flip over to Hero Form. Thwart one, Ghost Spider thwarts one, it's a total of two. We can clear some threat off the main, drop down three. Ghost Spider takes constant damage, ends our turn, ready back up. All right, holding on to a backflip still. Drawing back up to five. Yeah, we don't want the backflip in our hand necessarily because we have to hold on to it. Um, oh, I really like this enhanced Spire Sense here. That's going to help us out a lot. All right, uh, it is Ronald's turn. He's going to add one to the main. He's going to attack us. Spire Sense will draw us a card. We are going to take the attack because we have the backflip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boost card is two, so nine damage. Yeah, we're gonna play a backup here. When you attack in my danger and attack, jump out of the way, prevent all the damage. After Rhino attacks you, triggers a power stone. You are stunned now. All right, and then we get dealt a face on counter card, which we may just cancel. Oh, we got Sandman. Oh, that's really good. So we got a minion here with oh, he has toughness though. With toughness, two scheme, three attack, and four life. All right, uh, we can kill him though. So that'll work out for us, and we want to Spire Trace with him to help us take off some threat. All right, let me see. So is the mansion a possibility right now is the question. You, you guys know I'm super greedy. One, two, three, four to play the mansion. Draw a card with the mansion. Use two to play Ironheart. We have how many cards left in our deck? Three cards left in the deck. Did we lose the other Enhanced Fire Sense? I really do like the Enhanced Fire Sense. But maybe there's... No, yeah, we lost the other one already. Uh, I think we take the risk here to get the mansion. Now, we're at full health, so it shouldn't be too rough. Yeah, we're, we're just going to do it. We're going to use... Actually, we might draw a double, so let's hold on to that. Let's exhaust a Queen Carry for one resource. Engineer is the second resource. Web Shooter is the third resource. And then Swing Web Kick is going to be our fourth resource. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're stunned. So just take his damage then that's fine yeah yeah so one two three and then swing web is the third, fourth resource so i can play avengers mansion that's fine i i'm just gonna get it set up here let's exhaust the mansion so we can draw a card drew into a webbed up which i don't have the resource to play right now we're gonna use two resources oh we don't get the third removal off unless we kill sandman yeah oof we're gonna use two resources. Let's just do the same thing though. We're gonna use two resources to play Ironheart. When she, when you play it from hand, we can draw a card. We're gonna use this as a resource to play a spy tracer attached to the minion. We give it to Sandman. Whenever he's defeated, we can remove three there from a scheme. So we have to just try to survive another turn. We're gonna attack to remove our stun. Uh Ironheart is going to swing for one, knock off Sandman's tough stats card. She'll take a consequential damage. Ghost Spire will swing in for two, and then she'll take a consequential damage as well. So Sandman stays alive, unfortunately. That's going to end our turn. We have to take a attack, an attack to the face here from Rhino, but Ironheart can block Salmon's attack for us. But we also got fully set up here with our 
upgrades and support. So that could be big. Let's draw back up to five. We deck out. Get a face down counter card. Shuffle our discard power back into deck. And if we can get an enhanced fire sense or a backflip, that, that would be huge. Okay. So let's draw back up to five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Just all the suit ups again uh, together. All right. So it is Ronald Strange at one to the main. It goes up to five. Right, that's not good. He's going to attack us with Spire Sense so we can draw a card. And we are going to defend the attack here for three. Same with the base of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boost card here of two. So it's going to be nine damage. We defend for three. We take six. That brings from 11 down to five. Yikes. Okay. Uh, then Sandman is going to attack us here. If I have Ghost Spider die, I could get into a backflip. I could wrap a responder. I think we do that here. Uh, yeah, because I need to survive this turn. And I think that's the most guaranteed way. I think I get enhanced spider sense actually to cancel an activation, save the backflips, because we have dud, kind of a dud hand here. Uh, yeah, I can get X out. All right, so we're going to have Ghost Spider block the attack from Sandman. He does three damage. That would defeat her. She doesn't interrupt. Whenever she leaves play, search your deck for an identity specific event, adds her hand. We're going to look through our deck here for the enhanced Spider Sense that we were not able to get. But now we can get it because that's an identity specific event. Shuffle up our deck. And with the effect of the Web of Life and Destiny, whenever a Web Warrior ally leaves play, we can draw a card. So let's draw a card here as well with the effect of the Web of Life and Destiny. Ghost Spider is gone. We trick our wrap response. After an ally you control is defeated, this card wrap response put the ally back into play and do one damage to it. So Ghost Spire is still alive here. Oh, I forgot. When Rhino attacks us, he flips a stone. So he gets the uh, space stone. All right. And then we get dealt a face down encounter card now. So the face, space stone sure came out before Sandman attacked. All right. We have two encounter cards here, but we have an enhanced fire sense. First card is charge attached to Rhino. Plus three attack. When he attacks, the attack gains overkill. Excess damage to an ally. Okay, here it has overkill, but he has plus three now. So we definitely back with whatever attack that's going to be. And then last encounter card. Hydra Mercenary. Oh, we didn't need the enhanced fire sense. So zero scheme, one attack with guard. All right, and that's it. Uh, I think we did everything. Yeah, all right, it's back to our turn here. Okay, cool. So we can kill Sandman right now. I think I grab X to confuse Rhino with the suit ups. Actually, I could double suit up into Moon Girl and X. That might be the play. Uh, yeah, we have a loss that we can do right now. Let's go ahead and Avengers Mansion first so we can draw a card. Yeah, that will help out. We're going to have Ghost Spire swing for two on Sandman and knock him out. She'll take a consequent damage. When Sandman is defeated, we trade our Spire Tracers. Spire Tracers, I mean. We can remove three threat from a scheme. Let's clear off the main. Drop it down to two threat. And then we can have X sort that out. Uh, we have the Hydra Mercer now with zero scheme. So I could just ignore him, actually. I want to draw into a webbed up here. Uh, but I cannot. Yeah, yeah, we can't get the webbed up right now. Um, because we're going to flip down. No more draw power in my hand, right? Let's check here. We have Black Cat, which should discard stuff. So we don't want to play her. Yeah, we got we dealt with the encounter card stuff already, so we can get a flip now. I need to Skeleon. Do we? Okay, it's not in the discard pile. I think we just flip here. Nothing else to do. Yeah, we're gonna flip down here to our alter ego. Let's go ahead and use scientists first. So scientists would generate a mental resource. This would be a second resource here, so I can play a suit up. Alter ego action: search your deck and discard pile for an ally. Upgrade it can be attached to ally. So discard pile is going to be clear of purpose, which can be attached to ally. Our deck's going to look through here for Moon Girl. Uh, where is Moon Girl? Okay, so we add that to our hand with the effective suit up. Then we can shuffle up here. And then uh, we add those cards to our hand. That's going to resolve the suit up here. And we actually have a massive hand right now. Uh, I really want the Triskelion, though. So maybe I can draw into it. We're going to use this as a double resource when paying for a basic card, the power in all of us, and declare purpose is going to be a mental for a total of three mentals and declare the walls to be mentals. So play Moon Girl. We're a genius, so we are able to play her. And then after you play from hand, draw one card for each mental resource we use to pay for. We use three, three cards. Come on, upgrades. No, nothing. Okay. We can't play the War of the Great Web again because we're not in a hero form. Uh, I think I just suit up here 
for X. I can get down to web shooters, just get more stuff out. Okay, let's use uh, resource. Let's use AMA first to heal us by four. That brings from five back up to nine. We're going to exhaust engineering to generate a mental resource. This would be a second resource here. So I can play another suit up. And this time we're going to look for Professor X from our deck. Which can confirm. Oh, he was coming up next. Dang. And it's just gone. What's coming up next? Darn. Okay, shuffle up. Okay, so we got X and we're going to get the clarity purpose from our discard pile to our hand here. Uh, with the effect of that suit up. Then we're going to have Ironheart swing for one at the Hydra Mercenary. She'll take a consequent damage, getting knocked out. So she's gone. And then we want to play Professor X. I think we hold on to this here for Nick Fury next turn. So if I play X here, I'm going to use one, two, three, play X, play the web shooters. Okay, we're going to exhaust Queen Fury, generate a resource, two more for total three, so I can play Professor X. Whenever he enters play, choose one, create the one to confuse the villain. So now Ryan is fully confused, even with the steady. X will Thor for three, clear off the main scheme. We need a backup for his next attack, so I don't want to be in a hero form until that happens. So X will take a consequent damage. And then we're going to use a, do I save the enhanced fire sense? I think we got to start packing on some damage. So let's save the swing web cape. We're going to use this as a resource to play our web shooters here, which will come with three web counters. Okay, so now we have two web shooters. We got like a bunch of resource management. We're going to save all this stuff in our hand. Nick will draw his cards next turn. Moon Girls is not going to take this minion out because he has zero scheme anyway, so that's going to enter turn spray back up. So even if Rhino schemes once, I think we're fine. All right, we're going to draw back up to six here, ending our turn. I think we have four cards in our hand. Yeah, there's two more. Okay, I mean, I, I don't hate these cards. All right, Rhino's turn is going to add one to the main. He's going to scheme, but he is fully confused now, so he won't scheme. Then this minion is going to scheme for zero. Nothing happens. Rhino doesn't get a stone, or his stones don't trigger because he never activated. We can dealt a phase out on counter card now, which is Shadow the Past. So we get the Vulture here, our Nemesis minion. In our Nemesis side scheme, we shuffle these three Vulture cards into encounter deck, which I think it's helpful to help us dilute this encounter deck a little bit. Okay, so Highway Robbery, or first Vulture has Quick Strike, but we're in Arch Eagle, so Quick Strike does not initiate because we're not in hero form. And Highway Robbery comes in with three threat. When reviewed, each player puts a random card from their hand face down here. When we defeat, we can get that card back. So we shuffle up the deck, three threat. Shuffle up our hand here, and then we place a random card underneath the highway robbery. And I'm not sure what we have actually. I should have probably looked at our hand before we did that. All right, that's gonna resolve the shell of the past. All right, what do we lose? Oh, okay, we have Nick still, so it's fine. Um, X will we play at the end of the round if he's in play, so he's gone now. All right, and I think it is back to our turn. Okay. Let's exhaust AMA, Q by four. So we go from nine back up to our full health of 13. Let's exhaust the mansion so we can draw a card. Oh man, where is that Triskelion? We're gonna use this as four resources because the power of is a double, energy is another double, total four to play Nick Fury. When he enters play, choose one, we pick the one and draw three. Okay, there's the Triskelion. Actually, you know what? I think the highway robbery, isn't that enhanced bar sense? Do I wanna keep that there? Or no, I can clear out this turn, get the enhanced fire sense so we can use it. I also want to play a webbed up. Uh, we still haven't seen any advances though, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So let's use scientists first to generate a mental resource because we still haven't used it, right? We only play Nick. Yeah, so we can play our Triskelion. This will increase our ally limit by, by one. So now we can have four allies instead of just three, which would be huge. Can I play Maria Hill? Play the webbed up and the War of the Great Web. If Maria Hill draws us one card, or one, two, three, four to play the web up. Yeah, we actually, we can do all that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do all that, I guess. Let's use a double here so I can play Maria Hill. We have four allies thanks to the Triskelion. When Maria Hill enters play, we can draw a card. We gotta suit up. I don't think we play it here. I could get X to get another Confuse off. Uh, how valuable is that for us right now? Let me see, we knock out the Vulture. No, I think we gotta really actually start packing on some damage here. Uh, if we play the Webbed Up, that'll help us survive the attack. Yeah, because we have not got either, not gotten either backflip here. 
So there's two left in the deck. We draw five. We could possibly not draw it. So I don't think I risk it actually, because uh, actually Ghost Spark could get us back. But I, I need to backflip this attack with a charge, or else that's gonna kill me. Because he has so much that he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage right now with the charge. And he gets a boost. So I have to backflip that one to get rid of the charge, because after the attacks will go away. Uh, so I'm worried about if I webbed up here, he blocks off two activations. That's not what I want to do. Okay, okay, we're gonna. Ooh, but if I don't draw a backflip, no, Ghost Spark and True is a backflip. Okay, we are going to not webbed up this turn. We're gonna webbed up next turn, then go for some crazy shenanigans after we do that. So this turn now, we can swing and web kick him, get our War of the Great Web, and do some thwarting and some damage. Okay, we want. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's do this. We're going to flip over here to Hero Form. We're going to have Ghost Spider swing for two at the Hydra Mercenary, so two more damage. She's going to get knocked out taking uh, Consequential Damage. When she leaves play with her Interrupt, we search our deck for an identity specific event. Let's get this back up here, crucial to our hand. Shuffle up our deck, and then with the effect of the Web of Life, that's so we can draw a card. Because uh... Oh, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. I got to do one quick thing before I forget that. I messed that up. Um, sorry guys, we're going to redo a little bit. We're going to exhaust a Queen Carrier so I can play the War of the Great Web before Ghost Spire initiate her attack because we need to be uh, we need that plus one attack right here. So we play this down first. Uh, so when Web War Allies play, we get plus one attack until the end of the phase. Then Ghost Spire attacks. We get the backflip and we shuffle up our deck and we draw one card with the effect of the Web War Alive. That's because of Web War Ally left play, which is a swing web kick. Okay, then uh, this guy's a feed taking three damage. So he's gone. Peter Parker has plus one attack when Ghost Spire left play with the effect of the War of the Great Web. He's going to swing for three on the Vulture. Okay. Then, let's see. Then we're going to have Maria Hill swing for one, defeat the Vulture. She'll take a Consequential Damage. Okay. Then we're going to, let's have Nick Fury I really want to thwart this thing out though, but Nick can take a retaliate. That's fine. I, I, okay, Nick will thwart for two from the higher robbery. Actually, wait, let's check our. No, no, yeah, we need that enhanced fire sense. Drop it down. He'll take a consequential damage. And then Moon Girl is going to thwart for two. Clear off the higher robbery. She'll take two consequential damage. Side scheme is defeated. We get this card back to her hand, the enhanced fire sense that we lost. All right. Then I play a swing web kick here and can only do some damage to Rhino. So, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's fine because he has his R reach, right? Which is so the villain cannot take damage unless the attacker or attack has the aerial trait or the attack is ranged. So, swing web kick has the aerial trait here, which is really awesome. So, let's go ahead and use ingenuity to generate a mental resource. This will be a second resource, and we're going to have the web shooter here be a third resource. So I can play Swing Web Kick. Here, Ashen Tag, do 8 damage to enemy. We're going to hit Rhino for 8. That'll bring him from 15 down to 7. He's going to retaliate with his um, Telepathy. So we draw from 13 down to 12. All right, so we did some damage on him. We can play the second Swing Web Kick next turn. Uh, and then I think that's going to end our turn here. Yeah, let's ready back up. Keeping all of our allies. And we're going to draw back up to 5 here. And we have... Four cards in hand, so we're only going to draw one more card. Ooh, we got another webbed up. I don't know if I want both of those right now. All right, that's going to end our turn. Rhino's turn. He's going to add one threat to the main scheme. He's going to attack us, trigger our spider sense. When the villain initiates an attack against you, draw a card. We can another swing web kick. Yikes. Okay. Uh, okay, so he did that. He's going to attack us here. We're going to take the attack because the charged here will go away. So he's going to attack us here. We have a backflip, right? Do we have the backflip? Yeah, we do. Okay. So this would be the boost card. Zero. Oh, and an advance. Okay. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to play, play a backflip. We'll take any damage from an attack, prevent all damage. So we're jumping out of the way. Then with the charge, it's a force interrupt. Uh, after the attack, we discard it. It had overkill anyways, but it didn't matter. It had like double overkill. Uh, then we trade a space stone. So after he activates, this card cards from the top in contact until a minion is discarded. And then put the minion into play engage with you. So we've got a Hydra Mercenary right away. Uh, and then he is going to immediately activate because after Rhino activates, oh, this goes in his main stone discard pile. He's going to attack us for one. Uh, let's have Nick Fury defend that. 
because Nick's going to replay it anyways at the end of the round. So Nick will take that damage. Then we could dealt a phase down counter card during the encounter phase, but we have the enhanced fire sense. So we can swoop, stun your hero. That's fine. I don't enhance fire sense that. And then uh, if Vulture is in play, it gains surge. Vulture is not in play. All right. That's going to end the encounter phase. Nick really leaves play at the end of the round, and it's back to us. So unfortunately, I don't know if I can get rid of this guard minion here. Uh, okay. Let's Avengers Mansion, draw a card. Ooh, auto. It's going to do everything that we need. Okay. So let's see. I want to first attack to remove our stun. So that's gone. Then we got to play auto. So let's use the web shoes here. Remove web counter to generate resource. And use the second resource so I can play Spider-Man Auto Octavius. Play only if you uh, control a web work card. We have web work cards here with uh, the War of the Great Web and Spider-Man. Whenever auto enters play, we can ready up and upgrade we control. Let's ready up the web shoes here. If it has a texture, which it does have, we can draw a card. So we got into a Spider Tracer. Ooh, do I play it here? If I play the Spider Tracer, I... Oh, the thing is, I know I have a backflip coming up. So I don't need to web up Rhino here. Uh, let me see. I, I don't think... Okay, if I play the Spider, tr or Spider Tracer on the Hydra Mercenary, Moon Girl and Otto can take him out. I draw a card. I use three to play swing web kick. Pop Rhino. Uh, I really want to play this webbed up though, is a thing. I could stall and play the webbed up because the webbed up gives me two activations free. But I have a backflip. So I think I don't play the webbed up. I hold on to one webbed up still. Let me make sure I have a backflip in, in here. I do have a backflip. I do have a backflip. So yeah, we don't play the webbed up. We, we hold on to webbed up, we hold on to swing web kicks, play this thing, we knock Rhino over. Okay, let's use a resource right here so I can play a spark attached to this minion. When this minion is defeated, we can remove three there from the scheme and it has a guard and one, so we must defeat him. We're going to have auto swing in for two on the minion. It would take two cost more damage and get knocked out. With the effect of the web of life. That's the when a web war allies play, we can draw a card. Okay, Maria Hill is gonna swing for one, knock out the Hydra Mercenary. When he's defeated, we can trigger our spark, spark tracer and remove three threat from a scheme. Let's clear off the main scheme here. And then Maria Hill takes a consequent damage, she's gonna get knocked out here. Alright, I think that was good. Okay, we play a swing web kick here. Uh we need three resources, so one, two, three. Yeah, let's exhaust the web shooters here to generate a wild resource. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Do we have another enhanced spire sense coming up? We have two cards left in the deck. Got to check here. So if I have another enhanced spire sense, nope, we don't. Yeah, I need to save it. Okay, we're going to, we're going to uh, exhaust the web shooters here to generate a wild resource. Quinn Care is going to be second resource. Uh, Hobie is the third, and web shooters will get this card now because we don't have any more. To play a swing web kick. Here, Ash and Attack do eight damage to enemy. We can hit Rhino because this has an aerial trait. So even though he's out of reach with that, we can still do damage to him because uh, this attack has an aerial trait. So eight damage on Rhino will bring him from seven down to zero, and that will bring him over to his third and final stage. The stun will stay on him, but he also has the uh, steady from from the uh, super strength. He has toughness, and he says one review stun each hero. So we get stunned here. And then he also comes in with 16 hit points. So all we need is two swing web kicks. And then with that attack, he's not going to retaliate on us with the new official ruling on retaliate because we uh, defeated his stage, so he can't retaliate on us. That's going to resolve the uh, swing web kick. And then, yeah, that's two swing web kicks. I think I saw the hold on this one. We can't get rid of the tough because we're stunned as well. Allies can't attack him to remove the tough because of the out of reach thing. So we just hold on to this. We deck that with the backflip. Yeah, and then the swing web kick we hold, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Do I, do I toss the swing web kick here? Oh, I should say the web shoes if I'm going to toss it. Because I think if I get them back right now, I think we toss the swing web kick. Uh, yeah, we need to get rid of the outer reach, actually. No, we don't actually have to do it. It would just take us three turns. In, in that three turns, we don't need a swing web kick. Okay, let's just cross swing web kick. We're going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. Draw back up. Uh, to five here, so we deck out with the backflip. 
get dealt a oops based on encounter card here shuffle of our discard power back into the deck all right so we just got to hold on uh and draw two swing web kicks but we can't do it immediately because he has toughness we're stunned we need multiple ways to get rid of our stun first so it's gonna take a few turns Ooh, but we got ghost spider who's huge all right so rhino's turn he's gonna add one to the main scheme he's gonna attack us trigger our sparsen so we can draw a card all right we're gonna take the attack because we have the backflip this will be his boost uh, that's it. okay it's gonna be if the villain's attacking against overkill doesn't matter here it has overkill so one two three four five six seven eight nine damage we're gonna play a backflip here and jump out of the way avoiding all that damage after Rhino attacks, he's going to flip a stone with the Infinity Stone, a Space Stone here. Uh, we'll heal him three, okay? Then we get dealt a phase on encounter card for a total of two encounter cards here. First one is Sowing Discord. As allies you control cannot ready, one of you exhausts each ally you control. That's not good. And if no allies were exhausted, it will surge. The ally was exhausted, so it doesn't surge. All you guys actually spend two mentals to discard it. All right? Oof, under fire. Okay, surge and reveal the top card in the encounter deck. So top card here is an assault that will. Oh, he, okay, it doesn't search. We're not an eagle. The villain attacks you. Text. Okay, he's hitting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If he gets a boost of four, we die. If not, we live. So there is no boost of four. Uh, so we need to enhance Spartan to cancel something else that could be worse. So I think we just take the attack here, actually. Um, Text. There's, there's one more advance left in this deck, right? Let's check this card power here. We got one advance. Uh, if both advance were, were gone, we'd be really safe. But flipping down here, we have to exhaust you here and spend two energies to get rid of that. We do have Ghost Spider, though. But, oh no, we have the Webbed Up. So we can always do something with the Webbed Up. Uh, yeah, all right. So he's going to attack us here. Do we cancel? No, no, okay, maybe this is what we cancel because, yeah, I don't want to defend because I want to get rid of my stun. It's going to take way too long. Okay, we're going to cancel the assault. It's a treachery. We're going to spend a resource right here to pay for enhanced fire sense. When a treachery card is revealed in the counter deck, cancel is my review. We're going to cancel the assault here with the enhanced fire sense. All right, then under fire will surge. So we get another encounter card, which is hard to keep down. Rhino heals four damage. If no damage was healed, he gains surge. He's at full life. He won't heal, so this will surge. I'm tough. Give Ron a tough status card. If he has a tough status card, this card will surge. It's going to surge again. Oh, man. Master plan. Place fourth. Third. Okay, that's fine. Place fourth third on each side scheme. If there are no side scheme in play, we discard cards from in contact until we, we get a side scheme and then review that side scheme. I don't know if he even has any more side schemes here. So this may just deck him out. We're going to mill down here until we get a side scheme. And I mean, it fizzles. I'm okay with that with all the surge. Yeah, okay. So it fizzled. No side scheme, so since the Fizzo, the Master Plan uh, effect cannot do anything. But since Round decks out, he gets a permanent uh, original gun on the main scheme, so it goes up by two every single turn now. We're going to shuffle up everything back in, so now both advanced are back in there. But we're at 12 life, so we're okay. We get one advance, I guess. Um, yeah. Allies cannot raid with a soul in Discord, though. So each time an ally is exhausted, they're pretty much done, which is pretty bad for us. Uh, I think... Flip down to Alter to get rid of that. Yikes, I don't know if I can get rid of that. Okay, um, so it's back to our turn. Let's attack. we got to remove our stun. We're going to Exhaust Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. we got Black Cat. Um, and he's just play a Webbed Up, I think. Do I Black Cat for some draw? If she draws me nothing. Uh... Darn, I can't do this thing right now. Yeah, we just got to stall. We're going to use four resources right here. Uh, actually, let's hold on to one thing. Let's hold on to Hobie. We're going to exhaust the Queen Care to generate a resource. This would be three more for a total of four, so I can play Webbed Up. Attached to an enemy. Let's give us Rhino. Next activation will get blocked. All right, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. That was, oh, Moon Girl cannot ready. And then did he attack us? No, he never attacked us, so he doesn't trade a stone. All right, drop back up to five. This is not looking great for us. Oof, except we got two swing web kicks and a backflip. Oh man, if I can... Oh no, I have to exhaust myself for the outer reach thing because he has a tough status card. All right, round is going to add two to the main with the acceleration. goes up to three. He attacks us, but he is webbed up. So that gets his card, and then now he gets stunned. He's fully stunned now with the two stun statuses. 
We get one face down counter card, which is an assault. He's gonna attack us. That would just get rid of the other stuns. So the stuns are now gone. Uh, but we survive another turn. All right, back to our turn. Let's mansion here. Draw a card. Oh, I got this thing. All right, what's to play? I could exhaust your hero, spend two mentals to discard this card. And then if we live another turn, then we win, right? Oh, wait, Hobie. Hobie, Hobie, Hobie. Hobie will knock off the tough. Villain cannot take damage unless the attacker or attack has the aerial trait. Cannot take damage. So this Hobie's effect has air. I mean, it's not an attack, but I, I, I think that I don't. I don't know the ruling with that. I feel like that might may not work. Uh, cause out of reach. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're not gonna rely on that. We just have to survive a turn. We'll get rid of this tough stats card. If we exhaust ourselves, spend two energies, then we can play Ghost Spider. Swing in for two. She'll never ready, but we get rid of the tough. All right, all right. That will be the play. Let's use this hero action here. Exhaust your hero. Spend two energy resources right here. The energy's here. So we can discard out of reach. So now anyone can do damage to Rhino. So we can get rid of the tough now. And then I wish there's a way for us to kill. No, no, wait, wait a minute. We have, no, they can't ready because it's still in Discord. That was a very nasty card. Um. One, two, three. Yeah, we can play one ally. Have them remove the tough. We have the backflip. Uh, the threat's going to get really out of hand, though. But we just have to hope that we don't lose this turn. Okay, we're going to use Queen Carrier, Ingenuity as a resource. And Hobie will be a third resource, so I can play Ghost Spider here. Play only if you control web work card. Um, we have web work cards. I think I'm actually gonna keep her alive here because I want her to be readied. Um, if she blocks the attack for us, we get enhanced spider sense. Then next turn we go for the kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the for sure way to win this. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep Ghost Spider up here. That's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're gonna draw back up to five here. So we get two more cards here. Two. Okay, we got the third swing web kick. All right, it is Rhino's turn. Oh, Moon Girl is not ready because so in Discord means allies cannot ready, but Ghost Spider never ex exhausted. He's going to add two threats to the main. It goes up to five threat now. Very scary. He is going to attack us. We're going to trigger our Spire Sense when the villain initiates an attack against you. Draw a card. So we get a card draw. And we're going to have Ghost Spider block this attack. So same with the base. Right? Oh, we have a backflip, though. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, she's going to block the attack. Same with the base of one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and overkill. This would be the boost. Two. So it's going to be 10 damage. Ghost Spiral will soak three. Seven bleeds over to Peter Parker. We drop from 12 down to five life. So we are near death. When Ghost Spiral is defeated, we're going to use her interrupt so we can search our deck for an identity specific event. Let's get the enhanced Spire since it adds to her hand. And then uh, we shuffle up our deck. And with the effect of the Web of Life and Destiny, because the Web Warrior Owl left play, we can draw a card. So now, even if Rhino gets that advance for this encounter card, we can cancel with our enhanced spire sense. I think we have enough resources here to uh, go for the kill. Web of Life Destiny will draw us a card because Ghost Spire left play. All right. As long as we don't get an exhaustion, I think we're good. Uh, this would be the encounter card. Oh, Rhino flips a stone. Oh, did I forget to do a stone here? No, no, no. Sorry. He doesn't flip the stone. Sorry, guys. This stays right here. When Rhino attacks us, we trigger the so stone. So we heal three damage from him. He's already at full life. Give him a face down boost card. We put this card into the Infinity Stone discard pile here. I think that was only an attack, right? Did I mess that up? Okay. If I skipped an extra stone, the time stone would be in play, but it won't activate right now. So we would be fine either way. So this would just be in play. He will have this from the Soul Stone. He, he can't heal because he has, he's at full life. So I'm not sure if I missed putting this in play, but I think either way it would be the same thing. All right. We get an encounter card now, which we can for sure cancel. I'll take that. When review, discard the upgrade you control with the lowest cost. Highest cost instead if the villain has the psionic trait. He does have the psionic trait, so the highest cost upgrade we control is... These are all supports here. So upgrade's going to be Ingenuity, so we discard Ingenuity. And that's fine. All right, so we didn't even need to cancel it with our enhanced Spire Sense here. Yeah, I think nothing would have changed with the Power Stone. Okay, so we got us now. We no longer have that attachment where we need the arrow trait to attack Rhino. So Spider-Man's going to swing for two with our basic uh, activation. Knock off his tough stats card. He has his boost card here, but it won't do anything. Then we're going to use uh, 
We have so many stuff to backflip in the hand sprites just in case. But we're going to use three resources right here. So I can play a swing web kick here, action attack, do eight damage to an enemy. We're going to hit Ryan for eight, bring him from 16 down to eight. And then we're going to use uh, Queen Care to generate a resource. This would be two more resources here for a total of three. So I can play a second swing web kick, do another eight damage to Rhino, and that will bring him from eight down to zero. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. That was super duper tough. I think Rhino is actually more difficult because uh, I did this similar challenge to this without the Infinity Gauntlet with um, Apocalypse, uh, with Cyclops. But I feel like Rhino is actually more tough than Apocalypse with this setup at least because we can't flip down to Arch Eagle because his main scene threat threshold is so low at 7. So it makes us uh, very difficult to flip down and Apocalypse will give us more breathing room to flip down actually even though uh, normally I think he's a more difficult scenario than Rhino but with the overkill we actually really need to flip down. So uh, yeah, that was... Uh, I think that was a close game, guys. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this Marvel Champions Weekly Challenge, and I will see you guys in the next video.